Well, folks, there's a reason they don't call it a high tunnel when it's a low tunnel. And this is Wednesday in the woods in a low tunnel today. I thought, as we've been uh, discussing AI winter quite a bit lately, that maybe we should talk about ways that you, as a leader in an organization, or as someone who invests in companies that might be subject to an AI winter, can prepare for winter. See, there are different strategies for companies, just like for plants and the people who cultivate plants like me. You can take something like a tomato and you can intend to put it outside at just the right time and grow it as quickly as possible and harvest it at just the right moment, giving it nitrogen, or nitrogen and phosphorus and all the other important uh, nutrients that you need to get the best output. It works and it can work incredibly well and there's no reason that you can't take at least a portion of your portfolio and put it in a strategy like that but there's so many reasons things go wrong high input costs as we're seeing right now sensitive sensitivity to things like humidity or temperature early frosts late frosts uh, a uh, high humidity and fungal outbreaks so tomatoes or solanaceae in general are in my opinion like many of the vc backed or pe backed companies today that have taken a lot of let's say nutrients but have a very sensitive or fragile trajectory or um, just simply don't have the kind of buffer or robustness that other strategies might have so in contrast you might instead plant something like little old arugula here it uh it's like an arugula popsicle right now but it still tastes like arugula and you can still eat it and um, once it thaws it makes a pretty good salad so arugula under a low tunnel can be grown just about year round in um, in climates that you couldn't imagine normally growing food in so this is a buffer it's a strategy that with a little bit of work, bending hoops and pounding them into the ground and this stuff, which is uh, a uh, UV treated thin plastic, gives you so much more durability or robustness or sustainability. And it, um, it has trade-offs. So there's a little bit less light that comes through than if this were grown outside. But when winter comes, this stuff still grows. The frosts are lessened and lightened. The winds are not so strong. The temperature in the air is much higher. It's in the teens outside right now and I could sit in here for hours and not notice. And the, even the ground is softer, which means that more of the, the little critters, the organisms that live in the soil are able to help these guys do their thing. And so by taking Yes, perhaps a little bit of a slower, a more purposeful, a more thoughtful approach to creating a structure for your organization or organizations, for example, if you're somebody like a PE or a VC, then you can reap benefits that others can't. When winter comes, you'll still have something to eat when perhaps many of the other firms or portfolios holding firms, a little bit less sustainable, don't have much, if anything, to show. So still don't know what it's like out there and what the future will hold. Uh, NOAA, unfortunately, does not have forecasts for the AI winter, only things like uh, Arctic pressure fronts. But I hope that you're at least thinking about what you can do in your organization, whether you operate kind of a single firm or whether you're uh, a part of a larger portfolio of organizations. And um, I probably won't spend the whole day in here, but it's not so bad, right? I'm going to go to the sauna. See you guys next week.